Okay, I'm going to show you how to set up a remote connection to MySQL using MySQL Workbench. And this is in Mac, but the same instructions will work for Windows or Linux. And uh, these instructions will also work with other database clients as well. Um, so first you should get some information from your database administrator for the remote database server. And then in MySQL Workbench, you will click this button right here to create a new connection. And give the connection a name. And then we're gonna plug in the information that we get from our uh, database administrator. So the host name, which will be the IP address of your server, and the port should be 3306 for MySQL. And we'll put in our new username, which in this case is just going to be remote user. And then in MySQL Workbench or your other database uh, client, you should have an SSL section. So you wanna to switch to the SSL section. And with Workbench, you wanna require and verify CA. And then we're gonna pick our certificate files. So you're gonna need a key file, a certificate, and the certificate authority, a uh, root certificate. So those should also be provided to you by your database administrator. So we'll go ahead and select those. And so you'll find those wherever you have them stored on your uh, hard drive. And so we're gonna take the key and we're going to take the certificate and we're going to take the CA certificate authority, root certificate. Great, and now we're going to test our connection. And you're gonna want the password for your user. You just wanna put the password in, and you can save that password in your keychain on Mac. And this says, successfully made the MySQL connection. And so that's okay. So we can go ahead and that connection is saved. We can double click on it. And now we are connected to our database. It is called USPTO. And we can see the tables in that database. And we can run a query um, on that database as well. So that is how to connect to a remote database using MySQL Workbench.